Ladies and gentlemen, it is Halloween. It is a holiday which becomes more and more pitifully diluted with each passing year. It was a holiday I had once enjoyed, but as I grew older, I became busy with schoolwork and other obligations, so my enamor with the holiday had waned. Traditionally, every October, and Halloween, I sit down to watch a good old horror movie. Some of my favorites include The Evil Dead, Psycho, The Birds, Martin, Silence of the Lambs, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Reanimator, and The Fog, to name a few. In this day and age, it seems like it's getting harder and harder to find a decent horror movie to watch. Almost everything is a remake of a classic horror film before 1990. Most of these films are terribly made, or not requiring a remake in the first place. There's hardly any original horror films that have come out in the past 10 to 15 years which really matter or have a chance at standing the test of time. Even the acclaimed films aren't that great. The others with Nicole Kidman was hardly scary at all. It was all budget and limp delivery. The orphanage was too refined in its camera work and modern editing. Shaun of the Dead, like a few other films coming out recently has comedy elements to it, which is not why horror movies were made in the first place. Drag Me to Hell has that problem too. Trick or Treat. Put Me to Sleep. The incorporation of comic book elements completely broke the immersion, right off the bat. It looks too much like, if Desperate Housewives became a horror film. Blah. The Devil's Rejects was a complete bore and went nowhere. I can't believe people would even classify this as a horror movie. It's about as scary as a workplace training video. I remember listening to Hellblaze Deluxe sometime around puberty, but I had grown out of it as fast as a popsicle melts. Rob Zombie's style of filmmaking is a degradation of the classic tone that has made generations of horror films before his so enchanting. Another thing so bad with horror movies in this age are special effects. Everything is done with computer rendering and looks detached from the rest of the cinematography and shoots. The special effects by the use of animatronics from older horror movies has way more appeal and is much more shocking than everything that has been made through CGI. The biggest problem has to do with the writers in Hollywood, unable to come up with any new ideas. Most of Hollywood's time is spent remaking films that are already good or making movies to appeal to a gaming audience. Seriously, these Resident Evil and Silent Hill film adaptions are all I see when I check out the horror section in Blockbuster. They are completely lacking in appeal and laying eyes on them triggers insomnia. Just leave those franchises as video games as they were originally manifested. I'm not the only one with this opinion, just check out sites like IMDb and compare ratings of high-grossing horror films of the last 10 years to the high-grossing horror films of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and earlier. I guarantee you, you will find that the films of today combined have at the very least, a 25% drop in ratings in comparison to the films of yesteryear. Hollywood needs to hire better writers than the ones they have. Some guy working at a 7-Eleven on graveyard shift, if given the opportunity, can write a better plot than those social nepotists out west. Aside from a few Asian horror films, there's nothing else from this decade that had astounded me like the films from the past. As I see it, the genre is going to die off or the fans of the older films are going to give up on the genre, leaving the new generation to bathe in this lukewarm modern canon.